everyone. So a lot, a lot of people have been requesting how to draw the fudge. And so I got a little trick up my sleeve I'm going to teach you today. And uh, I'm not the best when it comes to drawing superheroes like extreme muscles and things. So I'm going to keep it, I'm going to keep it a fairly simple flash. You know, I'm going to have the basic muscles, but I want to capture the speed. So it'll be kind of like a, a cross between a real simple look like Young Justice. Uh, you, you'll, well you already see in the beginning, but you'll see, you'll see my little tricky. So let's get started. I'm not going to worry too much about extreme detail, but just enough, like I said, capture a pose. So when it comes to the flash, uh, I'm trying to think of a good way to start. The best way to start is... I'm going to start with the torso area. I'm just going to start with the real simple basic circle shape, kind of the stomach area. Every time I do something different, I'll make a line. And here's where the rib cage is. I'm keeping it pretty slender. And right here, I'll have this arm going back as he's running. So all I'm doing is real simply sketching shapes up right now. Just to get a kind of feel of where things are going. Then for this one, I'm going to have his hand straight up. So you'll see kind of the sides. Like I said, I'm just checking the camera to make sure. Oh my gosh, you can't see anything. Oh, let me make that a little dark. I'm sorry. Uh, so a little darker here. Circle shape there. I'm, I'm so sorry. Uh, I'm just basic shapes. A shape here, circle I did for the arm. And just another. I want to make it very sketchy. The reason I'm going to make it sketchy is because, you know, he's always running super fast. So you'll never see him too long. So it'll be like real quick. Then, but I'm also going to keep it with the principles of drawing. So like this hand, this hand will come up. And you'll see the, the side of it. So don't worry about that right now. Just fleshing it out. And then... So the belt there will be right there, I'm making a mark. And just follow along. Like I said, I'm making this sketchy. I want to keep a dynamic pose. So whenever one arm, if an arm's coming towards you, you have to balance it. So this is the leg. And I love doing these legs. You want it to be bending. But this is the leg that will be coming forward. So I'm just making this leg shape. And this one is going to go back so you can make it really slender so you're not going to see it that much then for the head shape I'm going to start with a good circle kind of work that head mass in and bring it down for the face so just follow these real simple things like I said I'm uh, just kind of getting a basic character here just trying to get something formed you know I'm looking at a reference for costume wise and for that he'll make his torso bend in then his arm back here will be going all the way in the back you can see how it's bending make pretty Pretty, going to slender that down the forearm a bit. I'm making this. So basically with this character, sorry about that, the camera insufficient face. But basically when it comes to doing certain superheroes, especially one like this, your top concern really is just getting anatomy and just getting a basic... Uh, fleshed out drawing going on 
And the main reason is because, you know, all you're dealing with is muscle and, you know, skin tight costume, so, and just a symbol. So if you can get the rest, you know, then you can just add the, the costume on pretty much over that. So let's finish up a little more. This is fairly simple. I'm not going to go in depth with the muscles and things. You know, just enough. I'm going to turn this hand. I want this hand where where it's sideways. Then you got the thumb here. Kind of like that. I'll show you what I mean when it's finished. Just make it very... I'll make it kind of... Is that right? Yeah. I'll make it kind of cartoony at the same time. Now that you got that, this leg, I'm going to push it and really, really put a curve on it. That's, that's what you want to make sure you get down, this nice curve to the leg, you know, where the, he's got this boot, basically where it's planted on the ground. You know, you want to get that impact, and I'm really 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 exaggerating the curve here like he's just going all out crazy you know because anatomy wise your leg would not bend like that but being that being that super fast super fast super fast I'm super fast super fast just something like that kind of put a little artistic spin here and there let me zoom out I'm not going to worry about the foot but see how this leg it's going to go in the background so we'll shade that so you'll see the foot would be back here you're not going to see it let's really finish out flesh this hand I'm going to make it like he's holding his thumb out again let's see how where it comes here you're going to have a thumb and the th thumb will be here just where his hand a real flat fingers. His hands are out flat. That's a big thing. And then uh, let's get some muscles in. So you, know, you have the deltoid. Pectoral muscles are important. They're up here. I'm just going with the flow. That's why I like drawing superheroes and things like this because you know you're dealing with the anatomy and you're also creating your own kind of unique creation and you're worried more about you're more worried more about capturing a character capturing the thing and basically the way the lightning bolt is kind of just start right here point you just want to sketch kind of this M shape in the middle like that, then it curves down again, this curves down again, then comes up, curves down again. So you got this lightning belt shape. Another one, same thing, just follow that pattern. But kind of like that. Then where? This is, this leg is going to be in front, so make sure this line overlaps that area of the leg. And circle here, in a lightning bolt shape there, you can make it exaggerate, make it small. I'm going to exaggerate just a little. Up. Right now it looks very sketchy, but once I put some finish lines, the face, it should look, come together a little bit more. I like that. And for the face, it's got a pretty standard in terms of those little lightning bolt shapes. Make sure you get that. But the face, it's leaning this way a little. Like the mask, the mask comes down, dips down. Then back up, pretty standard face thing, you know, 
kind of like a generic superhero. I'm just doing that, and then you know, and what I'm saying by generic is, you know how some villains and superheroes they have, you know they have a trademark either it's their eyebrows, it's you know it's something that defines them, physical attributes of the face. But certain characters, like with the Flash, for instance, you know it doesn't really have that except the lightning bolts up here, and so that's what I, I mean by that. So I'm just making little tiny eyes. You know, I'm keeping it simple. This is like a concept thing. It's not really, uh, you know, I'm not really looking at anything or copying someone's style. I'm just making it very kind of standard, just so you can draw a pose up. So the arm. Bicep muscles. Then around the arms, he has these lightning bolt shapes. Like that. Same on this side. Then the hand. It's like the other hand, except it's going to be bigger. I'm going to take the mechanical now and just do the small details. Details of the brow here, the mask. Just start, like I said, I'm going to make it sketchy where I'm going to keep a lot of those sketch lines. I'm also going to erase a lot of these Especially on the head here, the middle line. So let's start cleaning up a bit. Clean up these rough lines. Especially around this area. So all these little marks we made. And let's start getting the muscle in. Like I said, uh, this is pretty standard superhero drawing. It's nothing special or spectacular, but it's just enough that you can have fun and hopefully it'll teach you to draw how to draw the character. So the finger, you might have another finger coming out here. There may be one more. Then we're going to make this muscle back here. You'll see part of the bicep is for sure. And the majority is you're going to see this forearm. So I'm going to make the line and the forearm bigger. And make muscle tone. Not going to overdo the muscle. Let's work on this. The flash symbol. White symbol here. This, this is why, but pretty standard, just circle shape. I'm going to make the lightning bolt come all the way down. So we get that. And bring it up. Make it overlap. And you can see how I'm just now cleaning up. You're starting to get a better form going on. You know, just some more muscles. More important that you capture our masks with darks. And for the, the belt, same thing, the lightning. Make sure you capture that. I want to do something to finish it up. Then I'll just finish up here. And really to finish up, I'd make a couple lines I'm going to show you just to capture the speed that he's running at. There'll be muscle here, so you can draw. You want it to be stylized, you know, you don't want to... It's kind of like the idea, you know, 
you may be amazing at drawing abdominal muscles, or you may be amazing at drawing anatomy, but you know, you may be perfect when it comes to getting every little muscle where it goes. But as, but as an artist, you know, you don't, you take that into consideration, but you want to remember, you want it to look stylized. You don't, you have to know a basis, but that's, that's kind of where I'm getting at. Like right now, I'm just, I want it to be stylized, the Donalds. I don't want it to be like every standard superhero or bodybuilder. And you can see how it's it's kind of tucked in because it's going it's going back. Uh, kind of for it's a little foreshortened, so I made it a little shorter because this will be a little back. So I'm going to shade this in. And you can see like the muscle here; it's going back, kind of like that. So I'm going to show you part of this and cross hatch. Real simple pose again. Then this leg, you want to stress the muscle. A bit, uh, my advice is when you're doing superheroes or any kind of anatomy, if you're not too familiar, try to avoid areas uh, that you're not the best at. In other words, in other words, I, I feel like I'm better at legs, so I don't have to really use a reference. But uh, the point I'm getting at is, uh, what the hell is I thinking of? Oh my gosh, what was I thinking? Oh yeah, the point is. Gosh, she's gonna drive me nuts. The point is you want to capture an overall form. Uh, you don't want to worry too much. Oh my gosh, I'm completely blanked out. Uh, like I was saying, I feel like I'm better at legs. The, the thing is, the thing is if you're not good at one area, uh, you know, you probably want to use a reference. But there's something I was going to say that sounded way cooler. No, I can't remember. I'm just drawing this and the way the boot's gonna hit. It'll hit the ground. Make sure you use these lines. I make it very sketchy looking. Huh. Like I said, I'm keeping it simple. And just I'm gonna take this little paper so I don't smudge it. I'm just working on the face some more, the mask. These lightning bolt things. Almost like horns, but you can if you want, you know, you can make the lightning coming off it. There's usually little almost little flag shapes at the end. Depending on what style you're doing, I believe. You know, three little things, so I'll just put them on. Gosh, this is driving me nuts. I do not remember what I was going to say. I'm just shading this in. Then right here where the thumb is. Kind of like that. Last but not least, gonna work on the deltoid shoulder. You know, I'm just working on this back arm. Finish up this little lightning bolt shape. Oh. Uh, yeah, I think I was just gonna say. Don't, uh, oh yeah, I think maybe I was just thinking, say if you're not good at like an arm or shoulder or, or any other thing or you have trouble drawing eyes, this and that, try to draw everything else and then look at a reference. Uh, that's kind of my big advice. That way you can kind of, you know, that way you can still have fun drawing. Uh, for example, I'll do this a lot. I'm not that great with hands, depending on the pose, of course. But, uh, so what I'll do is I'll draw something. And then I'll maybe say, 
just leave out the hands. It's that simple. I won't draw the hands or I won't draw a foot. You know, and then I'll go back and look at a reference. So, so ultimately what I was getting at is uh, don't worry, like, if you don't excel at one area, you can still do the rest and have have a pretty cool looking drawing. I think that's what I was going to say. Like, so this light, and then what I'm going to do with the lightning, a lot of the drawings I've seen actually have the bolts coming off. So just draw that fast. Kind of stylized, different little bolts flying. Same with the ear pieces, I noticed. And then what I was saying to make the capture speed, uh, make a couple of speed lines, just a couple of straight lines. A lot of manga artists, Japanese artists do this, like coming off here of the arm. Think of which which way the angle is coming off. Uh, make a couple going in this direction. All you want to do is just straight lines. Keep it consistent. I'm pretty happy how this came out. It's not. Uh, I gave it spectacular in terms of anatomy and things, but it's enough. It's enough just to capture the flash running. I kind of did it with a more more traditional look in terms of keep it simple and stuff. I'll really take your time in doing the lightning coming off. Yeah, take take your time, finish it up. And basically that's how you draw the flush. Thanks everyone for watching. I hope that I helped you and thanks everyone more on the way.